peaceful up here. I don't even know if you can hear me because it's uh, so quiet I don't want to talk loud. But up here on the property, got my dad, my white truck, my dad's Toyota. Started putting driveway in yesterday. Um, it's a lot of hard work. Tons of hard work. Don't have to clear hardly any trees. There's a pretty good path. Some of the smaller trees, smaller stuff. But pulling up out of the ground is a, it's a pain. I might have to go run a backhoe. Just chop everything off the bottom, run a backhoe and a dozer and clear it out that way. Getting some stuff going. Thought I'd give you a little more of a visual of the property. Turn you around here. That's up toward the road. facing north approximately that's probably more true north right there it's about west goes a little bit downhill as you go from the road into the property you get about a third of the way into the property and it starts to go back uphill House is going to be down there, that area. About, uh, let's say 200 yards from where, 200 feet from where we're at. It's facing about south. You can see some of the red flags, if you can see them. That's where the driveway is going to go. Pick the spot, kind of goes in between the trees. Pretty good deer trail right here. See the deer trail going out. Nothing special yet. But it is peaceful. Spent the night here last night, got in yesterday afternoon. Spent the night here. It's gonna be nice. All right, this is what we've got done so far. This is Monday. This is Monday. I'm losing track of days because there ain't really nothing to keep track of them for up here. Me and my dad got this cut in. Goes basically back to the home site where we want to put the house. Got a couple more to cut out along the side, make it a little bit wider. But it's pretty well cleaned out going back there. So, take a second and walk back there and get a better look of it. The video will be a little bit shaky because I'm holding it when I'm walking. And we haven't cleared out too many big trees yet. The biggest one we've cleared out so far is one on the ground right here. Most of them have been smaller diameter trees, I'm trying to find a, a clean, straight enough path for now without cutting down any of the big trees. I want to keep as many of these big trees as I can. I got a little bird over there in that tree. A little woodpecker of some sort, looking for bugs. That tree's obviously dead. You see a little 
little bird in that broken off tree. Nope. So, there's a lot of dead trees out here because the trees are so close together. They starve each other for water. So we got to get in here and thin them out a little bit. Make it more of a healthy forest. And less of a fire danger. This is the, the biggest tree I've fallen so far. That one's the next biggest right there. This is all the clean wood, all the smaller stuff we've cut. Most of it's six, eight inches in diameter. This tree's, I don't know. That's not super big. Maybe 11, 12 inches in diameter. Nothing you can even mill, unless you want a 2x4 out of it. Here's some chainsaws going in the background. I don't know if those will show up on the, the audio of this video or not, but you can hear them going. You'll hear, hear some gunshots going off here and there, people target shooting. We had a, a water witcher come out yesterday and he walked the property all the way. I mean, he walked down the road a little bit, down the road a little bit up there, down into the side over there. And then see the property kind of goes down and then goes back up. He walked that little hillside over there then back up the north side of the property and I don't know how much I believe in it. You know, some people say it's dead truth that people can find water like that. But uh, those four orange flags out there said he found two good streams or rivers or whatever you want to call them underground and they cross right here at these orange flags. So. This is another spot we've got to kind of clear out. I've already dropped a couple little trees. And then, of course, there's dead trees all over anyways. A couple more little trees i got to cut out. Now i got to... Those flags are right next to that bigger tree. That's right where he says to drill the well. So, that bigger tree's got to go. And i got to talk to a well drilling company about how much room they need put in to get their equipment in here. They're going to have to get their equipment in here and uh, drill that well about 300, 350 feet deep is my guess. That's what most of the neighboring wells are. So, that's some more wildlife around here. I haven't seen too much. I've seen a couple deer. I've seen uh birds. Heard the neighbors talking about a black bear they saw up the road about a mile and a half about uh, two weeks ago or so. And then there's cougars. Cougars and or mountain lions. Depends on who you talk to as to what they are. That roam the area. You know, it's, I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere. We're not exactly close to any major town. We're 20 minutes away from uh, population of 3,000 for a town so it's it'll have whatever I need but it won't it doesn't have like a Walmart or a Sam's Club or Costco or anything like that so continuing back on down the trail here this is where I drug that tree out with my truck the ground is like topsoil. It's really good ground. I've heard that there's a lot of pine trees growing really really quick. The ground's really acidic. So that's something we'll have to look into. Where all these orange flags are down here 
is where we want to put our house. Got an orange flags right there. Orange flags over here. So we're gonna clean this area out. We picked this area because there's not a lot of big trees right here. There's a smaller oak trees, you know, and, and that, of course, pine tree right there is dead along with the one next to it. So even though it's a bigger tree, it's going to come out anyways. It's dead. That one right next to it over there, you can see right between these two green ones, that one over there is dead. That's a pretty big tree too. So we should be able to clean this area out fairly decent and keep a lot of big trees. And this is for this driveway that we've got. My dad and myself working. You can see up there to the tr to the truck. It took us about 12 hours to do that, and that's cleaning out. All the underbrush, there's a, what they call buckbrush and sagebrush, which is kind of a pain to pull out with a shovel. And then the smaller trees and then cutting the stumps down, digging around the stumps at the base, cutting them off as low as we can and then kind of filling back over them. We've still got to take out a couple trees to make it a little bit wider. And we were thinking about arcing the driveway a little bit off the side over there and coming around. Just so it wasn't a straight shot. And that's also where the power is going to come down. And they're going to put it underground through uh, PVC or through some kind of conduit. And I talked to the power company. They said that it can, it can bend and bow a little bit as it's coming back here because it's not overhead. It doesn't have to be a straight line. And then they'll put a power box somewhere wherever I... I guess choose to have them put a power box and from that power box we run power to our house or our garage or whatever else we want so yeah get back to work get some of this going ah. that's a lot of work though I haven't worked this hard in a long time. Look at that oak tree. Look at that big oak tree right there. I want to thin some stuff out around that oak tree. Make that oak tree thrive. It's a big oak tree. I think, I think that's white oak. I think most of the stuff around here is white oak. And these little oak trees here are starting to bud out. They're starting to come alive. But these are going to obviously have to go, these little spindly things here. So, yeah, that's one update for you. I hope the video turns out all right up here because I really have no way of checking it. But I'll, I'll get back and I'll upload some of this stuff. And Don't forget to hit that like button if you want to follow along, hit the subscribe button. Get the notifications sent to you every time we send out a new video of the property and what we're doing. It's going to be a long process. Whatever you, whatever you do, don't forget. Go out and make something. Go out and do something. Be productive. Make things happen, baby.